Hello everyone, welcome in this new video and today the topic is data transfer. Hope you are doing great and uh, let's start now. So the main focus on this video will be around Pi, around um, Historian and around Connect. So le let's let's jump on my screen here. So this is my Pi system. Uh, we will come back to that, that Pi system and we will see as well um, um, a Historian, Aveva Historian using a Aveva Historian and a SCADA system. So previously in the, um, in the video I released a few videos how to configure the data transfer between your SCADA system to, to Aveva Historian. So I just suggest to watch that video. And uh, now let me ch share with you now the um, Historian. So I have data from my SCADA to Historian and I want to transfer that data to, to Pi. Uh, it's really simple with what Aveva Historian did on the, um, in the latest release. You can replicate all your data or part of your data depending what you want to, to, to select to, to push to Pi. But you can replicate that Aveva Historian to, to Pi directly and easily. So I will share with, with you right now the, the configuration I'm using. So if you go on the, the old SMS, the new OCMC uh, Windows, you will see um, under configuration you can you can set up some uh, replication so what I did I add a, a replication server by right clicking here and say new replication server so this is this one and if we jump on that property I just specify on my replication environment I want to push that data to Pi server specify the, the name of my Pi machine and uh, specify as well my web API uh, on that Pi system, the web API uh, credentials. So if I'm testing the connection, we see uh, I'm succeeding with that connection, so that's great. Um, when you are doing this, you will be able after to <coughs> double click on the simple replication and drag and drop your, 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 your tags. Uh, by adding more here like, like that. So if I add multiple tags, you can search uh, different tags here. So this is all the tags available on my Aveva historian. So we can see that cluster one is originally coming from my PlanSCADA server. So I, I recommend to watch the, the previous video. But that data is available in Aveva Historian and I can replicate all the data. What I did, I select all the, all the tags and I, and I add um, these tags to, to, to my list. So that's the end result. So when this list is complete, um, you, you will see um, under, under Management Studio, you can um, check the replication status of your different server and here we can see the the one from pi is replicating at the, at, the, at the time and we can see the pi system the aveva historian is pushing information to pi so that's that's great news so if i'm going and jump on my pi server um, if i'm going to um, my uh, Pi system management tool, we will see in the current values. So what I did, I select few tags before just to test. So this is the tags we will focus on this video. But you can search for specific. Um, so on my Pi, I have different environment, including that new Aveva Historian system. But this is all the tags with the mask I'm using here. We can filter all the tags and add um, the one you, you want to select on this watch uh, view. Um, so that's the tag. So wh wh what I did before, I just create a view, and so I can do a quick demo. So if I jump back to my um, plan SCADA server, we'll see here I can generate some alarm. So that's the tags on my process analyst, and I can just uh, switch off that alarm, which I previously um, trigger. And um, if we if we go to to the Aveva historian, we will see here. Um, I add the train as well, so this is what I'm monitoring. So this is in the past 10 minutes. We can see that that tags is um, is off as well on historian. And if I go back now to my Pi server, same uh, is switch off. 
So we have uh, the communication between your SCADA, historian, and PI is now complete. So you, uh, you have automatically all the data uh, refreshed in PI. So that's the first part of this video. The second part now I'm interested to to push that 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 uh, information from Pi to to connect uh, the cloud platform of Aviva, and I want to just on my connect. So I open that. Uh, this is my connect profile. Uh, I create. Um, so we can see now and connect the data folder on that specific folder data. I enable two services, Insight. You can check my video previously between PlanScan and Insight, but I enable as well data service. This is where we, we will um, add the, the Pi connection. So let's open the, the data service. So we'll see on my data collection, I um, on Pi agent, I download an agent. So this is how um, Pi and Connect works together. They have agent locally where you can capture the Pi data and push that to the Connect. So I download that that um, I am I am on my Pi server here. So this is my my Pi um, server here, this VM. So I open from a browser that uh, connect access. So I download directly the the agent I, and I install the 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 agent on that that machine. So if we check under Aviva here, we we'll see Pi to Data Hub agent configuration, which is the Pi to Connect Hub, and um, First, when you install that agent, you will see um, a pop-up window where you need to log in to your Connect uh, portal. And when this is done, you have to add your, um, your asset framework in your data archive here. So when you do this, you can test the connection on both on both uh, component here modules. So this is uh, yeah, oh, both of them are working. So exit. And now let's so when you will refresh that page, the, the data service data collection for Pi agent here, you will see automatically that line appearing, and you will be able to to get more information as well on that um, on that agent status. So we can see it's registered. So it takes few seconds to register your agent here. When you have the green tick, you can move to the next step where you can add. Uh, a transfer. So what I did, I add a transfer with my um, with my Pi server, and I can view details here. Uh, it's under. So that's that's exactly what what we need to see here. So that's the transfer settings I, I configured for the first time. It, like you you create a transfer and you specify. A name and um, as well, you need to specify the namespace you are um, from your connect. So automatically, this is my data namespace here. I have other namespace, but on the demo, I'm using data and select as well the the data the data archive and the asset framework for for your system. You do have different uh, information you can stream. So I put the high where all the options are available, but by default is, is medium here. And you can uh, spot the different information metadata available by highlighting the, the level you want to, to select. So that's on term of configuration. If I go back to this uh, Pi agent, yes. And we have a quick status here on transfer overview. So the, the transfer is running, but you definitely you can stop uh, your transfer. So let me stop here. Stop. Okay, so stop the, the transfer. There is no, no transfer anymore. So for example, if I trigger quickly my an alarm again here. Okay, it's on, back on. And I go back to my um, connect uh, system. I will be able to, to start transfer again. So my Pi agent will restart. And then case started. Okay, good. This is all about transfer. And now let's go to the data management steps where we can see in sequential data store. You can see the status of all your tags here. 
So this is all the tags from Pi, directly and connect. And you can see the tags I'm using here. So this different option, you can jump on that um, that tool here and say the, so this is one of the tags, let's open quickly a, a trend view. So you open another tab, the trend, and we can just uh, see if I'm um, zooming in the last, uh, let's say 30 minutes, we can see my tag is on now. I'll just remove all of this. So this is all the tags and the associated metadata. But for example, if I search for for specific tags like uh, This is all my tags, but let's search for... Yeah, this one I'm using on my plan scada for this demo. I can just add that one and it, it's exactly the same as as my plan scada. Um, my historian. If I refresh. Yes, so this is in the past 10 minutes as well. And uh, my pi as well, if we go back to pi. In the past, let's say, if I go back to, let's set exactly the same time range, last last 30 minutes, we have the same uh, as my um, connect data visualization um, and connect. So this is conclude the video today for the data transfer demo between historian, pi and connect. Uh, using a SCADA system in that case. Um, if you have any question, feel free to, to reach on that video. And uh, thanks for watching.